Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ravindra, and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to change the ownership of the power apps. Okay, in such kind of scenarios, okay, like uh, employee leaves the organization and app has the no owner. Okay, so in that case, the uh, we cannot make the changes. The developer. So in that case, we have one solution. So we can change the ownership of that existing application. So let's I go and showcase you one of the scenario. Okay. So let's I go to the make dot power apps. So I'm just going to the make dot power apps and showing showing you the one scenario with actual demo as well. How to change the ownership of that application. So now we are in the power apps. It's just loading. So let's we take a moment here. No. So let's we check it for the weekly time card template SP. Okay. And let's I go to the share. Okay. Here we can you can be see the owners. Okay. In the click on their manage access. In the manage access, you can be see Ravindra is the owner. And the Sanika is the co-owner of the application. Okay, so to run this, uh, create this Power Automate flow, you should be the system customizer or the system administrator access you need. Okay, so if you not have this access, you cannot be do these things. Okay, administrator only. System administrator. I am repeating one more time. Okay, so need this access. Yeah. So we are changing the ownership from the Ravindra to the Sanika and giving the access to the Ravindra to the only viewing access for now. Okay, uh, for this weekly timesheet. So let's I go to the make dot power automate. So I just opening the Microsoft Power Automate. In the power automate let's I go and click on the create so in this case we will use the instance cloud flow so it should be run as per our need okay. let's we use the name to our flow okay change owner ship of power apps application and let's uh, click here okay here we should be place here is some typo mistake sorry for that okay now we are good to go let's simply click on the create so change the ownership of power apps application okay so i simply just drag it here so we are using the new interface to do this uh, design this power automate flow because as day by day the old designer will be depreciate okay so let's i add here power apps admin action okay so i simply type power apps admin okay so let's i scroll it down okay so power apps notification okay so power as for the admin we have this so let us I simply click on this connector so we need this connector power apps for admins okay so we need to change the app owner so here we have the one action set the app owner so let us I simply click on that action okay it is adding into an application so let us uh, here we need to pass some important parameters so first one is environment name power apps name and then we have the app version content type and role of the old owner and let's i click on the show all so here you can be see new power apps owner so let's go and collect uh, these things okay so let's i go to the make dot power apps we want the uh, environment name so i simply go in the this gear icon and click on the developer resources in the developer resources we have this 
environment id you can take this environment id as well as, well as the unique name so let's we go with the id so it will give us as the correct result yeah so we need now power apps name okay so simply just go to our apps just click on these three dots and just click here and see the details of the application in this details section we have the app id here okay so simply just copy this app id now go to your power apps and simply just sorry in power automate and just simply paste the power automate sorry power apps id yeah and in the new power apps owner okay we need the principal object id of the new user so how to get this principal object id okay. uh, for that you need the azure access okay if you not have then also it is not a problem so we can be do that by using office 365 connector so let's i use v2 go and click on the more okay and here we have some of the actions uh, get user profile v2 action we need this action okay here uh, we need to pass the email id okay so it is opening yeah so here we need to use the principal name or the principal id so i simply use control windows v and use the sanika's email id here okay so why i am giving sanika's email id so because uh sanika is a co-owner now i want to make her owner okay and removing the access of the other person okay so here is a select feed also that we not need so let's we go in this and power as owner just click on this dynamic content we want the object id so let's type their id so this is the object id okay i hope you are able to see it is at the bottom let's i click on the id let's i have our so here you can be see get user profile v2 body id small id is the that principal object name okay here we not needed this extra column to types happen let's click on the save one more time we are the programmers we should know how to fix the bugs then only we can be the good programmer and solve the any real life projects yeah so here we fix that two bugs then it's very good it's no problem silly mistake that i have done let's click on done one more time i hope this time it will run successfully we are not done okay Unauthorized. Why this is? Ravindra Jado connection is work isn't working. Look like your connection needs to sign in again. The most common change password policy set by your tenant and state. Maybe real. Okay. So it is saying I need to re-authenticate. So let's I click on this and click on this icon here okay change the connection okay details it is connected in september i need to sign in again to this app now we sign in successfully okay then now let's check the connection and this connection is december 1 okay great so let's save our power automate flow let's click on the test manually and just simply click on the test okay sign is done continue change run flow here click on done now hope it will run successfully <laughs> it's say three time okay it is one more time showing unauthorized the ratio across token has expired utc time which was earlier than 12 1 24 
34 am okay why it is confusing let's do one more time okay. let's i go one step back let's use the old designer might this is some another error new designer close okay. oh my god it is not turn off now we are in the old designer here you can directly see we have here bug okay so let's we change to our new connection and just simply click on the continue and the run flow okay so new designer is not up to the capable okay it have some bugs need to fix okay so if you face any error so you always try to switch to the old designer and try to run the flow okay so it is taking some time your flow is running let's wait for a couple of seconds how much time it will okay it is running our power automate flow okay so now you can be see friends it's run successfully yeah and uh, we've done everything correct as well okay so this time let's i go refresh the power entire browser hard refresh we are doing okay so let's i simply click on the share manage access yes. and now you can be see sanika is the owner and i am having the user access that's all friends keep learning keep growing keep keep motivated thank you